Yo 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 what's up guys it's Arpa here and in today's tutorial I'll show you guys how to make that effect that you just saw For the spin effect you will not need any plugins at all but for the impact you will need the sapphire and universe plugins But other than that drop a, drop a sub and let's get right into the tutorial So the first thing I'm gonna do is to time wrap the clip and sync it up with the music When you've done that you need to go to the shot of impact That's the first frame you see the numbers appear So for me it's right press on the clip and press ctrl b to split the clip right there and from here you need to go about 25 frames to the left, 25 right there and press ctrl b again to split it. Now on the clip you cut out you need to hold alt and drag it up a layer to basically create a copy but for now we can press d on it to disable it. Now we actually need to do so the shark disappears on the original clip we cut out. How we can do that is hover it and go to the fusion tab, press on the medium one and press ctrl space and shop paint and press Add. Now in the apply controls in the apply mode change to this double pencil and up here change to the single pencil And what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically match what you think is behind the shark there So from this case everything besides the head and the shotgun I think is a metal stair So basically what you need to do is you need to hold alt and press on the metal stair so a red cross lock disappears Then you can basically just paint over the shark So you can always place around the cross What it will do is it will basically paint whatever it is on the cross on the shark there But basically do that So I'm done with the first frame if you find this really complicated i've actually made a full tutorial on this so i'll link that in the description but basically go frame by frame and paint over it when something pops out and uh, i'll see you guys when i'm done so now i'm done so basically go back to edit tab now you can undisable the clip above so the clip copied and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically mask out the shark there how we're gonna do that is just hover it and go to the color tab inside of here go to fast frame by moving this red glass all the way to the left and go to the circle with four dots up here and press on this pencil thingy and basically what you're gonna do key from the correct one by pressing it and basically just go around mask out shark by clicking on it so like this i'm done with the first frame it doesn't need to be exact as you guys i didn't do it really good what you need to do now is you need to basically just go frame by frame and play around with the stuff so it look kind of good you don't need to keyframe the correct one anymore because it will get keyframed automatically when you change something but i will see you guys when i'm done so now I'm basically done, I didn't do it really good, but basically when you're done, go to your nodes up here, if you don't see, just press on nodes up here, right click anywhere and press add alpha output and connect it like this, and you'll see that it becomes transparent. Now go back to the edit tab, and on the clip we just mask it, right click on it and press new compound clip and press create. But basically what you need to do now is hover over the compound clip and go to the fusion tab And for this you will not need any plants at all Basically go down in the description, in the description you should find the draw folder In the code draw folder download the character spin RP preset And basically just drag it in and connect it And all the keyframes should be done As you guys see it's a really cool spin This was really hard to make But now you can go back to edit tab I think it looks really cool But now we basically just need to do one thing to the background Press on the original clip we cut out Go about 3 fourth into the video somewhere And keyframe the opacity on 100 Then go to the last frame And drag it down to about 50% Like that And now it's just the impact left to add You will need the Saffron Universe points for this impact So how to do it is go to effect Drag in the adjustment clip Make it to start on the shot of impact Hover it and go to fusion tab and Instead of it just in single draw for the the other time don't let the impact preset it up and basically just drag it in like this and connect it and go back to it right click and press render cache collapse but other than that that's basically it for today's tutorial if you enjoyed please consider doing drop a like drop a sub and see you guys in the next tutorial bye